Good day to all of you knock knockers and welcome to the program that sheds light on some of the dark problems we've been experiencing recently. And today we're going to look at some nifty inventions that some of you sent us in how to generate electricity and how to save power. But first, our great South African invention of the week. For that, I've got to go down to KwaZulu Natal, the land of the sugarcane fields. I just love sugarcane. Mm, gives me energy. But it's not the only energy source for me. It's also the energy source for our great South African invention of the week. Buy it cooking fuel. It is made from sugarcane, and you can cook with it. But this gives me energy. Just watch me go. Life cannot exist without energy. We all need heat to cook water, to boil, and to wash our clothes, and to heat our homes. But now many people do not have electricity to do these things, and they are still reliant on paraffin. So, what is it? Yes, That hurts your lungs, you know. Uh, I grew up as a child with paraffin. When I smell this, it brings back bad memories. Of course, nowadays I've got electricity. But there are millions of people who do not have electricity who still have to use paraffin stoves and paraffin lamps. But I've come across a group of people in Durban who've come up with a new biofilm. It's smokeless, it's odorless, it's affordable, it's non-poisonous, and this is our great South African invention of the week. Well, this is the end of the production line, and the end of a production line is always the beginning of the consumer line, because if you've got a good product, the consumer will buy it, and you're going to make money, and I believe this is a good product. This is a product that is going to take South Africa by storm. The bioheat product. Not bad, is it, huh? Tastes like sugar. Yeah! I'm in the laboratory to do some experiments. You know where the word laboratory comes from? Think of the word labor, laboratory. It's a place where people work, they do research. And I am going to do some research in the chemistry laboratory to make myself some biofuels. That's right. I'm going to mix things together and make my own biofuel.